welcome to Gaurav Zarena and this is Gaurav Chodnekar. Today in this video tutorial we will try to learn how to install the Microsoft SQL Server 2014 edition. Actually I wanted to show you of the newest release of the Microsoft uh, SQL Server but actually I wasn't able to do so. So now let us at least have a look at how to install the Microsoft SQL Server 2014 edition. I would surely get back to you with the latest version of the Microsoft SQL Server. So now here it is. This I am having an offline setup. Normally SQL Server comes with an offline setup for this. And it is a 64 bit. That is an x64 compatible setup. So it won't run on the 32 bit systems but nowadays all of the systems are just 64 bits so no 32 bits are produced as far as I know I haven't came across any 32 bit Microsoft SQL server after I guess 2014 only. So now let us try installing the setup. So it is asking for permissions with a very loud noise. Okay I have granted it the required permissions. Now let us see what it has got for us. So it is not starting as yet. So let us have a look at what is Microsoft SQL Server. So Microsoft has just had a lot of database applications which we might know by other names such as the Microsoft Access, which was a part which is a part of the Microsoft Office bundle. Okay, so this was previously used for uh, database operations. So database operations is it is a consistent type of file which can store your data. It is a type of file which won't store your data partially or something. It will sh store your data either fully or nothing. Okay, so it is basically used for data storage in various applications and a uh, very wide use in the banking applications for transactions and all. And then other than that, your Amazon, Flipkart, and all to use such kinds of software. Uh, not actually SQL servers, but yeah, you can try with that. So here you have got the SQL Server Installation Center. So the left side says Planning, Installation, Maintenance Tools, Resources, Advanced and Options. So you might prefer whatever you want to. If you are trying it for the first time, you might start from the planning section. So here it is what you, what are your hardware and software requirements. So it just opens up a link into the browser and you can go for that. Then there is security documentation, online release notes. So if you are visiting or if you are going to install the SQL Server for the first time, then you can just choose here. So here it is an upgrade advisor for Server 12, 2008, 2008, 2005, okay, and whatnot. So here they have given a lot of things with details and to create your own SQL Server for an organization, okay, from your home to your organization, you can do whatever you want using this SQL Server. So now we are just concerned with the installation. So here it is an installation. You can create a new SQL standalone installation, failover cluster installation. Then you can add a node to the SQL Server failover cluster and just upgrade it. So here is the maintenance panel, then tools, resources, advanced and we have a lot of options here. Okay, so we are now concerned for installation and we will just try it for the standalone installation or add a features of an existing application. So if you are having an older version of SQL Server, you don't need to worry of it. You can just upgrade it to the newest version. So a good backward compatibility by Microsoft for the SQL servers. Now I have clicked on the new SQL server standalone installation. Now it says launch a wizard into the S install SQL 2014 in a non-clustered environment or to add features to an existing, 2000, existing SQL server 2014 instance. So window has been popped up here. It says please wait while Microsoft SQL Server 2014 setup processes okay blah blah blah. So I am having a kind of setup which directly shows me the product key. Here it is so you might not be able to see it. So let us go here it is next. So the product key has been done you have to enter your own product key use the crack and do whatever you want. Okay, so now it's license and terms. I will accept it. I would like to turn on the customer experience program. 
so now i will go for the global rules okay it is checking ci yeah. you can click on show details that is the administrator setup administrator is pass 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 i guess i don't have any of the issues so if you have any of the issues you have to so resolve that issue before going to the next step so here it is i am just it is just install the setup files now let us see the actual installation will start at the second last column so between that you have a hell lot of things to do with you have to set up your uh, role and whatnot and other things i'm just not remembering its name so here it is i am having a warning with the installation rules and the warning is with the windows firewall so you can just ignore off the warning and go ahead no issue with that but if you have red mark then you have to surely resolve that issue so here this is showing what which type you need it is an sql server feature installation sql server power pivot for sharepoint then it is giving okay i will just go for all features with default so that i can ma change it later on so now let us go and see what i have got here so here it is instance features shared features okay so basically the ticked features are there for me and it says it will be requiring 5827 mb that is approximately you can say that it is equal to 5.5 gb or 6 gb and i am having 41000 okay that's no issue it will be installed in the program files okay fine i would then also click just select all so here it is upgraded and just click on next you can select the features as per your requirements and all i've just taken it up to my requirements you can surely select as per you like so it is doing some backend processing i guess okay so here is my instance id my instance id is ms sql server okay here you can use some named instance also here but i would like to go with the default instance you can add many instances somewhere but not here so now so here it is the service accounts are created for sql server region it is the name is microsoft sql okay whatever then database engine analysis services so for all that the service accounts are created now let us see what the collation says okay it is of no use right now okay so just click on next okay server configuration what type of authentication you require that is the windows authentication mode mixed mode okay i would just prefer for windows authentication mode then this is my current pc sorry that is the my laptop i'm not using the desktop so but hence it will be saying that this is my already added administrator then i can add my current user to okay just click on add current user it will show some window actually okay now click on add then you can just select this group select the object type okay then what type of object it is then location enter the object names to select you have various other object types okay then locations right now i'm not connected to any kind of network so i am just having only one okay so that's why it is showing me that i can't add anything it should actually show some error but that's good this is my sql server administrator now let's click on next okay multi-dimensional okay i don't need only a tabular data i need multi-dimensional and data mining mode see here as soon as i click on add current user my name has been added here so nothing in data directories okay next so you can just go for install and configure if you're very new you can just install only and configure it manually if you are a very professional in it but as a starter i would just recommend you to install and configure and 
here you just have only one option so click on next okay then permission for distributed relay controller service as usual i'm having just a one user so add the current user if you are having multiple users you can just give them the permissions once more click on next then feature configuration rules are to be checked and then that's it you have to just click on install so beware while giving permissions to persons on the net so that they can edit modify change and what do whatever with the data okay so although you can create another users and give them permissions but to be sure beware of such things so i would just fast forward the video so that you can have a large amount of time waiting for you so the video won't take a large time till then watch it thoroughly
so we have completed the installation of microsoft sql server 2014 edition so i will show you the working of the microsoft sql server 2014 edition in my upcoming videos so till then i hope you like the video and start in your installation thank you